Lesson 10 homework. Number one, John tiled some rectangles using square units. Sketch the rectangles if necessary, fill in the missing information, and then confirm the area by multiplying. So here they've already sketched the rectangle for us and divided it. So we have three units here, so that they split it into three different sections, and then we have two units and a half, so they split it into two and then this part is the half. So the area of this part right here, we have one, two, three, four, five, six whole units. So six units plus this is a half and a half and another half. So we have three halves, which is equal to six plus one and one half or seven and a half. So the area is seven and a half units squared. B, the rectangle is how many units long? It is four units long. And how many units wide? That would be two plus one fourth, so two and one fourth units wide. So then the area, we have four by two, so this whole section right here is equal to eight. So we have eight units plus, we have one, two, three, four, and those are all fourth units right there. So we have four fourths, which is equal to eight plus one, or nine units squared. Rectangle C is three fourths units long. So three fourths and four units wide. So I'm gonna separate it into fourths. Three fourths and then four, four units wide. So, what we have here is a bunch of fourths. So, if we counted them all up, we would have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And remember, they're fourths. So, twelve fourths, that's equal to. 3, 12 divided by 4 is 3, so the area is 3 units squared. And rectangle D is 2 units long by 1 and 1 fourth units wide. So I'm going to split this into 2 units long, and then we have 1 and three-fourths. So I'm actually going to separate these into one plus three-fourths. So there we have it. So these, this whole area here is one, two. So we have two units plus how many fourths do we have? Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six fourths. And six fourths is equal to one and one half. So we have two plus one and one half, or three and a half units squared. Number two, Rachel made a mosaic from different color rectangle rectangular tiles. Three tiles measured three and a half inches by three inches. Six tiles measured four inches by three and one fourth inches. What is the area of the whole mosaic in square inches? So. Instead of drawing, I'm just going to show you how we can just multiply because we've already learned how to multiply fractions in a previous module. So I'm going to do the three tiles that are three and a half by three inches. Now remember what we can do is let's make both of these into fractions or improper fractions. So I'm going to change three and a half into three times two. Remember we multiply by the denominator. Three times two is six plus one is seven halves times three. I just need to make that into a fraction by putting it over one. So we get 21 halves. And if I just make that back into a mixed number, 
2 goes into 21 10 times, and we have 1 half left over. Now there's 3 of these, so we need to do 3 times 10 and a half, and 3 times 10 is 30, and 1 half times 3 would be 3 halves, or 1 and 1 half, and 30 plus 1 and 1 half is 31 and a half inches squared. So there's that piece. Now we need to do the other one. That's six tiles that were four by three and a half, three and one fourth inches. So I'm going to do four over one times three and one fourth as a mixed num improper fraction is 13 fourths. Let's see, 13 times four. It's 52 fourths, and if I were to make that 52 fourths back into a mixed number, 4 goes into 5 one time, 1 times 4 is 4, we subtract, bring down the 2, 4 goes into 12 three times, so that's equal to 13. Now we have six of those, so we need to do 13 times six. Is 78, so this is equal to 78 inches squared. And then our final step to find the area of the whole thing, so if part of it is 31 and a half and the other part is 78, let's just add them together, so let's do 78 plus 31 and a half. We get 109 and a half inches squared. That would be the area of the whole mosaic. Number three, a garden box has a perimeter of 27 and a half feet. If the length is nine feet, what is the area of the garden box? So it has a perimeter of 27 and a half. So that means that this plus this plus this plus this is equal to 27 and a half. Now the length is 9, so the length is 9 there, 9 feet, and then it's also 9 feet up there. So we know that the length is 18 for both of the perimeter. So let's do 27 and a half minus 18. So we're left with nine and a half. And so we need to take the nine and a half and split it equally between the two um, widths so that then we can use that to find the area. So let's do nine and a half divided by two. Um, there's different ways we can do it. Um, I'll do nine divided by two would be equal to four and a half. And then we have the one half divided by 2 is equal to a fourth. And if I add 4 and a half plus 1 fourth, we have 4 and 2 fourths plus 1 fourth would be equal to 4 and 3 fourths. So the width is 4 and 3 fourths. Now to find the area, we just need to multiply 9 times 4 and 3 fourths. So 9 times 4, we can do it that way. 9 times 4 equals 36. And 9 times 3 fourths, make it 9 over 1, we get 27 fourths. 4 can go into 27. Let's see, 6 times 4 is 24. 7 times 4 will be 28, so that's too big. So it goes in 6 times, and that's 24 fourths. We have 3 fourths left over. So our final step is we need to add 36 plus 6 and 3 fourths, and we'll get 42 and 3 fourths feet squared as our area.